Welcome back, everyone. This is Jaronitis bringing you Pandemicraft. Today, we are starting on episode 21. Woo. And strange whispers reveal secrets to me. I really need to remember who it was that gave me that stupid knowledge sharing thing, and I was stupid enough to right click it because I need to go beat them to death with my ejector. The ejector! More fun than you could possibly understand. As a matter of fact, I made this in between episodes, and now I'm going to show you how it works. It goes like this. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Oh, you teleported away. Okay, whatever, guys. You guys are annoying, and you're cutting through the armor that I made. So, I made myself some armor from... Jeez, guys. Kill me, why don't you? That's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to see stuff go flying way, way, way away. Um, apparently, Mana Steel... Um, and now I feel oddly drained. Uh, Mana Steel. Uh, pretty interesting armor. Uh, apparently, Endermen get to bypass it. I don't know why, but apparently, Endermen bypass it. So, um, you might notice that uh, when you look around, you don't see Das Wrenchen anywhere. Well, Das Wrenchen uh, had to go... Uh, she is away for now. Um, she has gone on vacation, actually. Uh, she will not return for about a week from the recording date of this. And uh, there's really nothing I can do. I mean, I want to continue with um, Batania, but I don't want to do it without her. I, I know how to do one piece of what's next, but not enough to continue on without her. Um, now, that being said, what the... Are you serious? Really, dude? You're, you're hanging out on top of my tree? Ejected. Now that's what I call some distance. Uh, anyway, so um, while we're waiting for her to return, I figure we should check on our hobgoblins. After all, we were learning Batania while the hobgoblins were doing their thing. So uh, now will be a good time to see how things are going. So as soon as I actually eject this... Where'd he go? Eh, whatever. Ejected! Okay, so uh, let's take a look and see how these guys are doing. Uh, my understanding is that I am not the only one. I set the hobgoblins up, and uh, they're doing quite wonderfully. Um, but I think other people have been tapping into my, uh, my hobgoblin stuff. Uh, but we're doing rather nicely here. Uh, there's probably supposed to be a lot more than this. Uh, as you remember, last time we looked at these, these were wooden chests. Uh, apparently, they were filling up pretty significantly, so they have been upgraded uh, beyond that. So, let's right-click on this guy. No, 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 no. Don't right-click him. Oh, that might not work. Let's see. Can I trade with you while you're... No, right-clicking takes away your pickaxe. Okay, so we got to leave that guy alone. Uh, now that we have Cobaltite Dust, we can actually do something with it by trading with Hobgoblins. And normally, you take nine Cobaltite Dust and five Gold Nuggets... And you get a Cobaltite Nuggets. It's the only way to get Nuggets. Uh, you can't do anything with the dust yourself. Uh, but apparently I can't trade with this guy because his trades are taken. Okay, 16 Cobaltite and a Gold Ingot. That's also taken. Ah, here we go. Nine Nuggets and an Emerald for... An, well, I don't have any Nuggets, so I can't do that either. Okay, how about you? Are you the same guy? Ah, here we go. This guy is available for trading. So I need some gold nuggets, so let's run back inside real quick and grab those. Alright, so there are several things that we can do with Cobaltite now that we are getting some of it put together. Um, where... There we go. Where's my gold? Gold. Wow, I don't have very much gold left. That's kind of concerning. Alright, but we should have plenty enough to get at least a couple worth, a couple of ingots worth of uh, Cobaltite. Uh, there are several things we can make with Cobaltite, and we'll get into that in just a second. Let's do some trading here. Huh? Oh, wait. I can't trade with you yet. I need to make some nuggets. Hey, 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 hey. Get back here. Where'd you go? Is it you? Nope, not you. Is it you? Aha! Here we go. All right, so dust... Plus nuggets equals ingots. And he traded me seven to start with. Let's see how many I can 
get away with. I believe they trade the same as villagers do. Uh, so you can only trade so much before they actually... Yep, there we go. So I wound up getting... Oh, wow, they only actually took nine nuggets worth. Uh, all right, so where, where'd you go? Was it you? It's not you. You should be doing the little sparkly thing that villagers do when you trade with them. Wait a minute, where are all my guys? There's supposed to be more guys in this. No, it's not you. Was it you? Okay. Taken, taken. Gold for emeralds. No. Okay, um, this isn't going to work because we'll be here forever. So I have another idea. Um, I need hobgoblins whose trades aren't taken up. So let's see if we can do this. I'm fairly certain we can. Ha! Ah, one hobgoblin in a ball. Let us go forth. And, uh, ooh, I have an even better idea. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Trading station. Haha, <laughs> I looked it up. <clears throat> Diamond and planks. I had intended to make this and have it ready right now, but I figured that it would be, you know, nicer, I guess, to, to wait before I do this. I was going to use it over there, but there's only two hobgoblins over there, so that's kind of not going to happen. So we can make this trading station really quickly. Well, actually, we need to make the jukebox first. And then the trading station. Oh, by the way, Rain is here with us, along with Elroy Gaffin and um, Max Rebo. Uh, they're in TeamSpeak, but I think I'm alone on the server. Yeah, I'm, right now, yep. I'm alone on the server, and they're hanging out in TeamSpeak with us. So hello to everyone. Hello. hello. Who's talking? I was at talking. <laughs> Okay, what's up? We already have wood. It's quite less. Oh, God. Why did I acknowledge that they were here? We were being very quiet and leaving you alone. Yeah, I know. Why did I acknowledge you guys were here? Because you knew eventually you'd have to. Okay, I'm going to have to use just vanilla planks. Oak wood and birch. I should be able to do with that. Sweet. One trading station. Or trading post. So yeah, we're going to do this this way because I have this nice setup and I might as well make use of it, right? Alright, let's see. Open this. What the... Oh, I right-clicked with the rapier and it makes you jump backwards. Alright, spawn hobgoblins, exact copy, no. Let's, um, well, you know, well, I don't want it to have too many hobgoblins, so let's, let's do this on the inside. Normally I would put this on the outside but if it tr spawns too many hobgoblins that's going to cause a problem hi little hobgoblin dude trading station awesome it works a cobaltite nugget gets you four pieces of bread um yeah you are oh crap now i have no idea of knowing which one you were but that's okay so we should have more seriously guys this is you guys are worthless Wow, it took me seven hobgoblins to get one that would actually trade what I want to trade. There's something kind of disturbing about that. Alrighty, so yep, we can trade this up and get a bunch of stuff. Um, give me just a minute, I'm going to do a whole bunch of... Oh, wow, that's probably more of these guys than I need, so let's stop that. Uh, I'll be right back after I trade out all of this stuff and get myself uh, some things that I want. I'm probably going to go for at least six or seven ingots and several nuggets because we're actually going to be able to make quite a few things here with the koboldite. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do it like that. We're going to have to go to... Well, actually, you know what? Let me just do a couple of trades here. and we... Well, actually, we can do this right here. Here we go. Uses. We can make the pentacle. Um, so we're going to need at least four koboldite ingots and four nuggets before we're done. Uh, there happens to be something else that I know that we can create that we're going to have some fun with, so give me just a minute to do some trading, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Um, did some trading, did some killing of hobgoblins. Stop hunting me, you stupid zombies. Um, anyway, so uh, it turns out that that much cobaltite dust really doesn't make much. Um, at nine dust per nugget and nine nuggets per ingot, uh, it 
goes away quickly. Um, now, there, <coughs> there's two things I want to tell you about here. First off, the initial trade, nine Cobalt Light Dust plus five Nuggets for uh, one of uh, plus five gold nuggets for one cobalt night nugget only use that trade once the second trade that they usually have is 16 dust plus an ingot for two nuggets okay so that saves you two dust per nugget okay and considering the dust is what's hard to come by that's what you want to go with now uh, after that then it's nine nuggets plus an emerald for an ingot and then they go off into some crazy whatever stuff Okay, so I ran out of dust rather quickly, um, but it turns out, ironically enough, that while uh, I noticed that my chests have been changed into iron chests, um, <clears throat> and I said that there should have been more stuff there, because, I mean, these guys have been running for days, uh, you know, while I was recording with Das Wrench, and I expected to come back and find the chests to be slam jam full. Um, so, you know, I thought, okay, maybe they're slower than I originally thought. Well, it turns out that uh, the same person who happened to come along and Strange Whispers uh, reveal more secrets to me. Um, <clears throat> so the same person who came along and changed these from iron, uh, from wooden chests to iron chests, uh, also graced me with his uh, presence in the act of removing said uh, things. Apparently, he has been coming by. It's uh, by the way, it's idiotic mage, our ever so present pranker. Uh, apparently, Idiotic Mage has been coming by and checking on things. And when the chests started to get full, the uh, the wooden ones anyway, he actually came by and pulled out the dust. Um, he's not around right now, but he, he I messaged him and he mentioned to me that he did that. And he told me to look in the roof of the uh, hut. And yes, he put a barrel in. Why he didn't put it where I could see it, I don't know, but... 49 stacks plus 48 of dust. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of cobaltite dust. Uh, that's probably enough dust to last us a lifetime. Um, so I came out here. It was actually more than that because, like I said, I ran out of dust. So I went and got some more and did some more trading. Um, and now we have uh, all the cobaltite we could possibly need. So um, these guys really don't need to be active anymore. Um, I could probably take them down. Uh, it, I've shown you guys how to do this and how effective it is, and it's not a bad way to, to go about this. So mayhaps I should stop them at this point. Uh, if anybody needs any more cobaltite, they can always put it back to uh, put them back to working. So um, I'm going to uh, steal their pickaxes. Hopefully that's drop it, drop it. Good boy. And uh, he didn't actually, he dropped it, but he didn't, uh, I didn't pick it up. The uh, random things item collector did. As you can see, it's now here, along with the zombie head from the zombie I just killed. Um, so, by the way, the, the random things, uh, advanced item collectors, uh, you can filter them and you can choose the radius that they can pick up in. Uh, the filter, you can whitelist items as well. I don't know if I told you guys about that. It's an amazingly handy thing to have. Uh, it actually works better than the... Uh, better than the vacuum hopper and it doesn't have the animation so it doesn't cause any kind of lag in that respect um so you know kudos to fellow pandemic crafter some some uh that's his name on here but he's also the author of random things so cool stuff all right so now that we've done that <clears throat> and we've pretty much got anything we could use there uh let's go inside the house so zombies don't kill me while we're doing this and let's take a look at what we can do uh we can well actually first thing we want to do let's go ahead and for the nuggets, we can make the pentacle. Okay, now the pentacle... We're, oh wait, I need a diamond. I don't have any diamonds on me. Uh, the pentacle is one of the newest additions uh, to the stuff you can upgrade your altar with. We're going to go ahead and make one real quick, and we can put it on our altar. Uh, so let's go upstairs and put this on our altar. Up, up, and away! Yeah, I know. I won't do that again. Uh, anyway, so this should, in theory, uh, I believe it doubles the charging speed of your altar, or maybe it doubles the power. I'm not certain. Uh, let's take a look at the altar real quick. We have 12,150 times 6. Let's put this sucker on here. And when we do that... 
12,150 times 12. Wow, it actually doubled the double. So times 12 is the charging speed, right, Elroy? Yep. So yeah, this altar pretty much charges instantly forever. Uh, that's that's an amazing that's addition. Perfect to curse you. Uh, no, to curse the others. Yeah, you better watch it, Elroy. I'm actually starting to get pretty decent at the whole witchery thing. I might be. Uh, I'm very well protected. I, I, yeah, you'd like to think so, wouldn't you? I think I, I might, I might be getting smart enough at this to actually take you on in a witch to witch battle. Oh, is Sunday, that a challenge? Sunday, Sunday, no, 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 no. I said, I said, <laughs> I might be getting close enough to maybe challenge you in a in a witch to witch battle. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm 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 gonna take you on one of these times. I, I will. I'll spend like a week preparing all sorts of stuff, and then I will just take you down hardcore. I won't even tell you it's coming. I'll just be like, "Hey, all right, how's it going?" Bam. I really shouldn't say all this with you here. I have a feeling I'm about to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, but let, let's 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 wait that for another time. <clears throat> Other things we can use <laughs> cobaltite to make. Uh, never a good idea to challenge the guy who knows a lot more than you do. Uh, we can I make the... might <clears throat> log on the server. You might not be whitelisted for the rest of this episode. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> uh, we can make the Cobaltite pickaxe, uh, which is similar to a diamond pickaxe. Uh, if you give it to the hobgoblins, it increases the drop rate of Cobaltite dust, and it also auto smelts things. Okay. Um, so you can use them as a quarry. Uh, the minus side there is that since it's a, it works as a diamond pickaxe, uh, if I were to give it to one of my hobgoblins down there, they would dig the floor out from under them, uh, being that diamond pickaxes can dig up obsidian. So they would go ahead and do that, and we don't want that to happen. So The other thing that we can make is a statue of the hobgoblin patron, uh, which we will be doing here shortly. Uh, and the last thing that we can make is the twisting band. The twisting band says it disorientate, disorientates observers. Okay, um, give me just a minute. Um, I have to make a, a charge to tune stone, and we've already done that. So give me a minute to charge up in a tune stone, and I'm gonna make that band of twisty stuff, and uh, we'll show you what that's all about. So we'll be right back in just a second when I have all this stuff together. Okay, so apparently I'm a doofus because uh, I, if you guys noticed a second ago, there was a charge to tune stone right there. So um, I, I had the charge to tune stone sitting there the whole time, but I decided to go ahead and look this up anyway because it's something I wanted to do. Where um, am I coming? Up to the witchery floor, please. So here we go. The twisting band disorientates observers. Okay, so... The theory is that I can take this and put it on my head, and my wife, who is coming up the elevator, this is going, I'm not sure exactly what this is going to do. It disorientates observers, so basically you should be able to look at me. Hi. Hi. Nothing? Here, okay. step, step, step out of the elevator. Range. She's like standing, oh, did you move away from me? Nothing's happening. Is there? Do you have some sort of protection somehow? Yeah, I'm your wife. It knows better than to screw with me. Oh, that's hilarious. I thought so. You have a hatchet. She has a <laughs> hatchet. Nice. That's weird. It's supposed to like make it so you can't look at me or something. Here, put this on your head. At a certain range, it's supposed to make you look back. Okay, how do I put it on my head? Put it in your armor oh, slot, duh. Well, I didn't know it was a piece of armor. Oh, wait, is it a bob? No, it's not a bobble. It's witchery. It's not... I don't know. I'll do witchery. Okay, it's... Nothing's happening. That... Did you really just hit me with an axe? Yes. Really? Actually, it's a hatchet. But... No, that's a... Okay, Whoa, so what just you. happened? Okay, I just got hunger... And turn completely around. Oh, there. Oh, okay. So what, I had to hit you first? I, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, probably. And now it's, it's not working. Attacking mob. Can I hit you again? Yeah. Hi. Hey, it worked. Okay, apparently that's his range. So, like, every time I try to look at you, 
Yeah, I, well, it's not working now. Oh, there it goes. I don't want to keep hitting you. So, yeah, it's it's forcing me to look away. It doesn't seem to work all the time, though. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, it, it forces me. Okay, here, toss it back. I want you to see what it does. It's kind of weird, actually. All right, look at me. See, it already worked on you once. I saw the particle effects you got. Wasn't that weird? A little bit. Every time you look at me, it makes you look away. It's not working again, is it? Nope. I don't know. It seems to be a bit touchy. There. See, now you can tell when it works. Yeah, see, you looked at me, and then it... Ow. Okay, so that's kind of cool. It, it seems a bit touchy, considering, but eh, we'll be all right. Gives you hunger and makes you look away. So that's a pretty cool little uh, artifact. Maybe if I enchant it, yeah, if it's enchantable anyway, maybe it'll become more effective that way. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, other thing that we can do, and this is going to be really fun, we're going to do something horribly horrible. We're going to make the statue of the Hobgoblin Patron. Okay, um, cobalt ingot, a single cobalt ingot, and no, I only need one statue, thank you, and I don't want to waste any of these. So the statue of the cobalt patron is used for a couple of different things. Um, well, actually, it's really only used for one, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got just a few minutes left of this episode, and I want to see if I can get this going. Uh, first, you have to make it. Then you have to do the rite of binding on page 11. It binds a person in the circle to the statue. Okay, so the statue of the patron, a belladonna, a poppy, a dandelion, and 4,000 altar power on a normal 7x7 altar. Okay, so this is going to bind me to this... Whoa, why is there a skeleton up here? What the heck? Okay, did I... Why is there a skeleton? There shouldn't be able to be a skeleton in here. What's the deal all right there's a single spot there is a single spot right here where a skeleton can spawn whatever whatever just you whatever annoyance all right so we're going to do the rite of binding on this we're going to toss the statue and the three flowers and the statue and the three flowers dang it quit popping back at it that's not funny Okay, and right click. All right, so now it should take these. It should take 4,000 altar power, and now we have, aha, the statue of the Hobgoblin patron, Geronitis. Uh, so it's bound to me now. Now, I really would have thought that uh, that would have just required you to use a tag lock, but eh, for what it's going to do, it needs to be more than that. And the altar is charging back up rather nicely. Actually, it seems to be charging up pretty slowly, considering. But I never paid attention to the altar recharge power uh, speed anyway. So uh, it may be doing a lot faster. By the way, you might happen to notice that what I did with the hobgoblins makes my creeper face look really, really funny. Uh, so, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that on an on a interesting side note. All right, so now that we have this bound to me, we are going to put this out here with the hobgoblins. Okay, I may need to get a couple more hobgoblins to do this, but... Uh, there we, oh, look, it looks like me. Check it out. It looks like me. That's awesome. Okay, so the theory is that the hobgoblins that I have captivated will now um, worship the statue of me, essentially. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to take place. I know I'm supposed to make the statue, bind it to myself, and then put it here. Um, we may need some more hobgoblins, or maybe it needs to be daytime so they'll come out of the house. I was going to say, maybe it needs to be daytime, because um, they're kind of like, uh... Yeah, they don't like, they're like villagers, they don't want to come out at night. Yeah. That's okay, I can... Put the statue in the house. Haha, <laughs> I slept and it's showing all your teleports. You saw nothing. Alright, so let's see if the, the hobgoblins will... I write. Wait, what? 
when you right click the thing it makes this like weird popping noise okay I think I'm missing something let me do a little bit of research to figure out what's supposed to happen here I thought they uh, I thought I did everything I needed to do um, let me see what the problem is be right back all right we're back um, apparently there's a couple of things that we can do with this I got a little bit ahead of myself but uh, I brought some more um, hobgoblins out. these guys have some sort of weird effect on them they're they're bowing to the statue so they're worshiping the statue of me uh, which is going to make their normal gods like really angry with me um, so uh, this is supposed to increase my potency as a witch uh, unfortunately, uh, my potency as a witch is not that great because I have not infused myself with magical powers. Uh, so, um, apparently, I now that they are worshipping me, um, it can it has a percentage chance of angering their real god and uh, or the real gods because uh, there's more than one of them. And there's a chance that their real gods will spawn and try to smite me. Uh, that being said, and me not wanting to actually be smited, smit, smitten, smitten, smited, sm whatever. Um, I'm going to see if I can break this thing and, and hold it out for now. And I can, and it's still bound to me good. Uh, you guys are bowing to nothing. Quit. Quit. I don't want to get attacked by your gods. Uh, well, actually, I do want to be attacked by our gods. Uh, they're boss monsters, and I really want to have fun with them. However, since I am not actually ready for that at this point, we will come back next episode. Uh, next episode, we will infuse myself with magical powers. We will get my magical wand uh, going and ready to rock. And uh, I will probably fence in this area to make sure that none of my hobgoblins escape. Um, so... Yeah, next episode, we will hopefully, if I'm lucky anyway, um, give myself magical powers, uh, give myself a magic wand, and make these guys worship me, and we will discuss then all of the pluses of having the Statue of the Hobgoblin Patron. So until next time, this is Jaronitis signing off on episode uh, 21, I believe, of Pandemicraft. Uh, like me if you like me, subscribe if you want to see what I get into next, and as always, help spread the gaming.